everybody, Jerome Wright here once again. And um, again, um, you're here joining me on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube. Okay, um, I couldn't resist coming back um, to this um, Revolver album cover by the Beatles. I could not resist it. Um, it's too much here, people, to ignore. And um, I find myself back here again. Um, I'm back um, with, um, with this um, album cover. And I guess I'm going to go to, I think I left off the last time with the black ear. Okay, and another ear part sucking on the black ear, meaning an indication of genetic bridging between black and white through the penile gland. And it even has a little monkey character sitting up here. Okay, um, <clears throat> that's showing you that it's referencing just that. Okay, um, ancient genetics, okay, that of Africa with the monkey, the blackness, you know, you get it, people. All right, now, um, <clears throat> I've done some interesting things with this. I have some other slides I'm going to pull up and show you. However, um, I'm going to take you right here to this character right here. Notice how everybody is seemingly covered in except for him over here, but right here, Notice that he's wearing these jeans, and I believe that that's the only character. Oh, by the way, we did the Jimi Hendrix right here likeness, where Jimi um, Jimi Hendrix died, and most of you guys don't know he was a famous um, guitarist um, with rock and roll, and um, he died I think at the early age of like 25 or 26 or something like that there, um, and he was on the charts along with that with the Beatles. In fact, he had just missed making the Billboard top charts by three because of the Beatles. And he died from um, asphyxiation of, um, of, of choking to death on pills, barbiturates, and alcohol combination mix. And oddly enough, <clears throat> he's being shown here being strangled by one of the, um, seems like one of the Beatle members in the background then. So that's very strange that this man died this way. And here this album cover is, is um, depicting him being choked. There's other likenesses of other people that are aren't, aren't here. I don't think I have it in the slides that I have here. But there's also a Jackson 5 member that's mi mixed in when I do start doing the mi mirrored images. But I don't believe that I have it here in this. But I do have a video out where I highlight where that is. So you guys can um, actually check that out. Okay, I've tied Michael Jackson to this. Um, as well as um, Elvis Presley. But I'm going to be doing um, more on Elvis Presley here in a minute. That's why I'm redoing this um, this video. But I'm going to I'm gonna come up to the guy in the jeans. And I don't know who the member is, people. And I don't give a damn, to be totally honest with you. Um, if you want to go and, 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 and figure that out, you can. But I'm already... Let me see if I'm right, right there. Let me see. We're in too... Are we in too close? i got to get this. Make sure I get this guy's leg. Uh, right there, right here. Okay, let me back off some so you can actually see. And slide it in like so. Okay, over top of here in this head figure right here. There's a head right there in the album. This is something that you can Google. Go to the jean leg right here. See the guys wearing the jeans. Right here, and he has the vest, has his, one of his hands like hipped in his pocket. You see that? He's wearing jeans. Well, <laughs> this is what the message is literally stating. This whole thing is about genetic manipulation and genetic change. And it's, the Beatles are actually commemorating through this album cover how they contributed to genetically not only contaminating themselves, but other things, I mean, in other places, including including animals and mankind likenesses I'm listening to a vehicle go past okay and mankind likenesses and this is what this album cover is commemorating okay and basically go to the genes and genes can be realized too I'm, I'm hesitating people because I hear traffic out in front of my home here and I'm just trying to figure out what it is there okay genes can be read two ways of being and it has two interpretations genes meaning pants genes which is done here and here genes of mankind so 
When you Google the image, look at those genes, and you will see one, hold on, one, two, three, four morphine faces in those genes, which is symbolic of what I'm, everything that I'm telling you about gene contamination, gene pooling, okay? And it's describing the genes that that beetle member is carrying in his body and are now coming out of his penis, penile gland. And this is what he's saying. He is a carrier. This is the reason why, if you look at this entire image, that this beetle is shown here the way he is, and he's showing you in his leg, encry encrypted in his leg. You will see, beginning at the lowest part, a face, at the kneecap, a face, at the thigh, a face, and right at the crotch area, over here, over to this pocket, a face, which would be his right arm. So, Google that and look at the faces. So, we have genes representing genes. There's a two-headed coin here. The guy is wearing jeans, literally, stating that... I've got to go turn this washer off. So the guy is literally stating that he's wearing a pair of jeans, but he's also wearing genetics. Jeans as well. Get it, people? Jeans and jeans, even though one is spelt one way and the other is the other way, but... This is the symbolic message behind that. So I love seeing stuff like this here because it sends you to there and you can identify with it immediately. As soon as you Google the image, you go to the jeans and you start saying, I see faces in the pants, just like he's stating. They're, they're like a totem pole on top of each other going up to his crotch. All right. Now, um, I'm going to go into the slides, okay, because basically what I'm going to show you here is about... Um, Elvis, this is what this, this new video is about. It's more so about Elvis. Here goes some of the other images that I pulled up. This is a mirrored image, okay, of that and um, overlayments and all. And again, people, see how the monkey comes up? Look, his hands, this guy's hands comes back. Oh, see his hands come back, almost ducks there, and then you see a Ape in the middle. See that? Look at this symbology. Listen, these symbolic messages, people. Look. Cross. You see that? Cross referencing. You see that? All of this through the mirroring of this image. And look how it goes there, people. Look at that. Amazing, isn't it? Okay. All right. I'm going to keep going to the next image because we're going to go back to Elvis again. I'm going to raise Elvis from his grave. And I'm going to beat I'm gonna beat that mule to death. All right. Here's another image. Now, that guy, one of the Beatles, uh, let me go back to the first one. In the mirrored image, let me let me go back to where, where I'm going to, because I'm going to bring it. You see this guy here? This guy on the, on the Revolver album, who I don't know who it is, and again, I don't give a damn. He takes on a look of Elvis when this image is mirrored, and I'm going to show you. The connections that I've made with regards to that as well. And again, people, Michael Jackson is linked to this. The Jacksons, as well as um, Jimi Hendrix, and as well as Elvis, and all three are dead. Died tragically, supposedly, from drugs. All three are dead, and all of them could be referenced to this album cover, and all three are dead. Now, go figure that one. All right, here, see how this guy takes on the Elvis look? I'm gonna bring that in closer for you because I'm gonna make another connection right there in that same location with regards to Elvis. So, I'm gonna bring it in as close as I can to make my point. There's two faces because this is a mirrored image. There's the crown, 
because Elvis was crowned the king of rock and roll, so we got the crown. And then there's like a goblet or a or, 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 or goblin up here. You see that? And then you see the two beautiful, you see this like a goblin and it creates a helmet. Well, this whole thing here, people creates that of a goat. I call it the sabotic goat. And there's a couple images of it. I got the video here. There's there's the head here. There's a head there. And then this is the the um the main head. And this and these and these faces here creates the eyes. These are the bulging eyelids. Um, where are we at here? Uh, okay, we're okay. Um, it don't work out for it. That's the reason why I'm, I just had to stop. But anyway, the bulging eyelids of the goat, this, that, the third. This creates a, a face of a goat. So we have children being referenced here. Um, Cult-like images are, are symbols. A goat's head wearing a crown. Look at it. You see that? Almost reminds me of like Mr. Ed and that, and that horse where he was wearing a cap. You see that? Okay, but anyway. Now, this kid, uh, each side creates the eyes. There's a crown. We got an Elvis, and we got a sign of, of a symbol of genetics being being um, cross referenced. And this is this this creates like a cauldron, a cult like scenario. It's a cocktail. That's what this is, right? So, Elvis. What is Elvis known for? There's a cross symbol right here, and there's symbology all up in there. You see that up in there? Well, I didn't realize it at first, but I'm gonna take it and turn that image upside down. And there it is upside down. Now, and I'm hoping that you're seeing this in the way that it's supposed to be seen. All right. Now, let me see where we're at. I can put my finger there. Okay, I'm going to have to back up to give you more to what is being realized here. All right. I'm going to back this up. Let me back it down because I got it too large. All right. Now, you guys probably see more than what I'm actually showing here. Okay, now, take a good look at that, people. Now, this is the image that I just previously had up. These are the two Elvis heads because it's mirrored. That's why there's two there. And they're turned upside down. Now, when this image is mirrored side by side, this is what this creates. Now, what is associated with, with Elvis? Well, Elvis jewelry collection and his cars, his Cadillacs. Elvis is known for Cadillacs. He's known for the um, for the um, for his private plane, and um, it has his daughter's name on there, um, which is Lisa Presley. And do we have the two L's here? And the two L's are created off to either side here. Okay, and um, then we have the plane. I don't know if you guys can see it here. Oh, yeah, you can see that pretty good. I'm going to get me a small one. The plane is actually... Here's the nose of the plane right here. Here's the fuselage. And then there's the wing of the plane off on either side. So we have the plane. And you guys can Google Elvis Presley's private plane with the name Lisa on it. And you'll see that it's almost about the size of like that of a of a Boeing or something like that there, like a like a Boeing, to be totally honest with you. He had a pretty decent sized plane. And this is a plane. Now we got the two L's right there. So we take the L's, put them on the plane. Now Elvis is also known for the uh, his lion rings and his lion jewelry. Where the lion head is not, it's like a nugget that creates a real head of a lion. So, where is that at? Elvis, the lion, is right here. There's an eye, there's an eye, there's a nose. And the lion's mouth is open, like pretty much like that on Elvis's rings. You know what I mean? And guess what's, what's going on in the lion's mouth? It has the nose of the, the plane shoved into the lion's mouth right here so you have the head of the lion here then you have the plane shown flying into the lion's mouth meaning you know what i mean into the lion's mouth okay these genes now check this out now i know you guys probably saying what does all of this mean and where is he going with this people this is talking about genetic contamination how 
things and contributions that Elvis made, how they were recycled back into this contamination pool. And that's what this is all suggesting. Now, I'm going to keep going, though, because what else is Elvis associated with? This here, where the cross is seen upside down now, that this is creating, on the, the cross is inside, guess what is inside? The insignia of a Cadillac symbol. You know, like those Roman leaves on the Cadillac symbol? That's what this is showing me and detailing me here. And it's actually showing where this hair from these beetle guys is actually showing me that that Cadillac symbol is attaching the hair to that Cadillac symbol, which actually dubs as those spokes on the Cadillac rim or wheel hubcap that this insignia. So if you took this insignia, swung it back up, you will have a Cadillac spoked wheel from the 70s from when Elvis was in his Cadillac collection. So you have memorabilia, jewelry from the Elvis collection, Elvis prized possession, his family jewels. So the Beatles are telling you, you ever heard the imp impression that I got your family jewels or they're giving up the family jewels? These, this, this message is also in the cult underworld, a symbolic, it has a symbolic mess, meaning that your family jewels, meaning your family genetics, your genes. And this is what is being shown here. This is why you can see a crown. You can see the image of Elvis and you can see all of the identifying assets of Elvis depicted right here in that entire scenario. Because you know why? Elvis Presley was a mule of a cult group that not only genetically sacrificed and contaminated themselves, but they contaminated others. Those that can't be controlled and not just be controlled but those that are being used that's what I just said those that are being used like Elvis like Jimi Hendrix and like Michael Jackson they're destroyed after they did their bidding to this cult group that calls for genetic change of mankind now Why? Well, if you have a bridge where these genes were being used in a contamination and you didn't want nobody else to follow in your footsteps, you break the link. There's a genetic linking chain. Elvis was a link. Michael Jackson was a link. J um, Jimi Hendrix was a link. And the Beatles is a link. So what happens is, in successful scenarios where these genes were created, and there was these alterings, they break a link so that no one can follow behind them in the chemistry that was created to create this gene pool or these changed genetics that were created through this cauldron like scenario. Now, look at this, people. This is a mirrored image of the Revolver album cover. Why is there like a cauldron, a, 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 a goblet cup here with the, with the, with the, um, with the Elvis, with, and then here's another one like turned upside down, almost like a drinking glass. Now check this out. You have like an Egyptian cauldron here or a, an ancient cauldron here. Let's just say an ancient cauldron, a flask here. Look at this. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm out of tune here. Let me let me back this down. Let me back this down. Okay. You have... Look at this symbology. <laughs> look at this. Look like something out of a gothic scenario. Look at that. Now, you have that one there. Now, mind you that there's a goat in all of this mess too. A sabotic goat, mind you and other creatures. You have the ape in there. Then check this out. You have one. You have a crown turned in on it. Here. And then another flask turned in up 
through here. Here's the bottom portion of it. There's the neck. Okay, coming down into it. And it's showing you a cocktail. You know what this is? Like this reminds you of, you ever go into a bar and a bartender takes two silver cups and or, or, and put them together or take a cup and shake a drink and mix a drink? That's what this is. This is an ancient flask or goblet here turned in with a, almost like a traditional glass here turned with crowns and jewels and Elvis. Okay, and, and it's showing you a mix. Right there. I mean, it's, it's classic. This is what is being described. So, on this end, it's modern. So, obviously, the mixing glass or the shaking glass would look more modern. And this is what you see here. See the neck of it there? See the level? See that? What you would see like a crystal glass. You see that? See the, see the, um, the, uh, the neck part, the base, the, um, the stem? Here's the stem. Here's the, um, the glass like here. Okay, there's Elvis's jet, jet um, or insignia of it. There's the lion's mouth open with the jet going into the lion's mouth. There's the Cadillac insignia. There's the cross. You know what I mean? This was pushed back in the Cadillac insignia. It would create a wire wheel, which is symbolic of Elvis's Cadillac collection. His family jewels, his family assets added to this cauldron cocktail. Now, so down here on this end, what is being described? Well, you have that goat and all this, that, and the third. Um, I have. Do I have another image I can bring up? Well, let me see if you can see this with me before I start. Okay, yeah, you can see it. So I'm gonna bring that up. So on this end, I mean, you really have to have clever eyes to see this. You know, you really do. But I'm gonna go like this here. There's a beetle head upside down here on both sides. All right. So, on this side, it's a reference of ancient genes. So, if you look, you see the forehead, you see an eye socket, you see a nose, you see a mustache, and you see a beard. The upside down beetle's head creates all of that, the mouth. So, this genetic here is shown contaminated by that beetle. You see it in the mouth, meaning a dick in the mouth. That's what this is, is insinuating here. Now, hold on, because it gets better. Down here, I don't know if you can see, so let me let me look with you here. You will see another head here, there, and then there's an overall head there. But I'm going to bring up more images so I can actually bring this in. Because this, all of this symbology is actually, is, I wonder if that's the word symbology. Symbolic message, I better try that because I don't think symbology is a message, I mean a word. But anyway. All of this, people, is reminiscent of a cauldron cocktail that shows that there is genetic manipulation and genetic change. Now, here's now. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna come back to this too, because when this is mirrored this way, because look at that. Look at the head here. Look at this. Look at the head. You see that right there? Now. I can show you what those genes, remember when I had those genes upside down and I said that it was in the mouth and all of that? Ancient genes of what people that this is belonging to, that they're talking about upside down. You know what this, hold on, let me go, let me go back because I'm going to show you, I'm going to shock you. I'm going to impress you and shock you at the same damn time. Do you know what this belongs to? See these people? You see the forehead that I show you with the um, with the man there. With the, let you see that. You know what these genes are representing. You see this. Look, this is a woman here. I'm at her chin. There's her mouth. There's her nose. There's her eye, and she has this big like wing like hair piece on right there. You see it right there. This black piece here. Let me bring that in real close, cause I'm gonna show you something. All right. There's the beetle's head in the in the mouth. There's the nose, there's the eye, okay, right there. And this is the beetle head is upside down, by the way. The hair creates the mustache and all of that. You see this person here? See the chin, the mouth, the nose. This is a female. You see the haircut, the hairline? You know what that is? You know what this is? It, rep it represents Asian, Orientals, Chinese, 
That's what this is all here representing a genetic bridging. You believe me? I do I have to sh I have to show you, right? So you know the big ha uh, hair pieces, the ancient hair pieces that Chinese women look at the haircut, the short cropped hair on the forehead cut down right here. You see that? That's a Chinese woman right there. You see the hair? I mean, not the hair, but the hair piece wearing those big. Hair. You see that? This is a Chinese woman. This is a Chinese guy. Now, what do you think is going on? What is being said here? They're stating that they contaminated themselves with an ancient Chinese gene. In fact, if you look at the Beatles' haircut, now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't even think about it. I'll make another connection. The Beatles' haircuts on the forehead is consistent with the way Chinese do cut their hair. The Chinese women actually cut their hair on their forehead and the way you would expect the Chinese to wear their hair. Now that I've actually put that, that, that message there together, if you think about it. But here... Let me show you something. I'm going to turn this back upright and I'm going to show you the connection to that of Chinese genes, which is in our genetic contaminating contamination ring or cycle, how it's being referenced on a revolver album cover. Well, I wonder if I can get this to come up much. See the Chinese line? Right there, see the face, chin, mouth, eye, eye. See that Chinese face symbolization? Well, I'm gonna bring you in real, real close, and then I'm gonna show you the guy at the top of that Chinese line wearing a Chinese hat. Okay, now he's right there. I'm going to bring that in even closer for you. I hope I don't come in too close to cause you to lose all of that. At the top, at the very, whoa, I don't know, right there. See that face with the Chinese cap on it? You see it? There's the hat. You probably see the hat better up there. See that hat up there? People, I'm going to hold it there for a minute. So, and then look at the guy in the middle holding the, look at the little white guy between the two heads, holding those jeans up. Look at that. I'm going to, I'm going to set this down because I'm holding the computer up. Let me show you something, people, how good this gets. Oh, you can see that, that, there's the Chinese hat right there. There's the head. You see that? See these levels? See that, people? The Chinese line. Now look. There's a little guy sitting up in here. There's his head and his arms holding that lion's mouth open. And these beetles are shown taking in these genetics. And they're crossed between this ring, this cauldron here. Elvis family jewels are down here. You see this, people? Now, not only is the beetles a part of this, Jimi Hendrix is a part of this. But he's dead now. Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to harp on that. Michael Jackson is a part of this. He's referenced here, but he's dead right now. Elvis Presley is referenced in this. Not just his image, but his jewels, his possessions. He's dead right now. And the only survivors of this story is the Beatle members, which just happened to be from Britain. Now, another connection I'm going to make with this is that, remember when I told you, oh, I should have some more images, that this word here, when mirrored, it states several things. Well, um, revolver. Here, if you mirror it a certain way with the Michael Jackson um, 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 images, it says never, never, reading out never, never. To each, from the middle out, it says never, never. And it reads that way. But here, when it's showing this, it creates the word overlapping. Remember, remember. Now, you know, this is this when I seen that word, it sticks with me, it resonates with me because I made another connection of an artist that just released a, a song not too long ago 
And this is um, I'm on my worst behavior by Drake. So Drake states this word, remember, remember. Now I've tied Drake to this. And I'll do another video on that, but keep that in mind. This remember, remember is linked to Drake and his worst behavior video. And guess where Drake shot his video at doing this? Remember where Elvis comes from in Memphis, in Memphis. The association of the owl is made in Drake's video. The association of the Cadillacs is made in Drake's video. And a few other pointers that I'm going to put um, put out there um, about this. Oh, in fact, no, I'm not going to make that connection now. But oh, hold on, what else did I say? I just saw I just thought I seen something else before I clicked out. Uh, well, anyway, I'm here. Well, look at this, people. I want you to take a good look at this. Because the Beatles are worldwide beloved. Look at all of these little creatures insignias up in here. Take a good look at this. This is even a better picture yet. I'm going to take, take this up. All of this stuff here relating to Elvis. This goblin. Or this, um, not this, this goblet. Look at this, people. Look at this. This is all about removing an extraction of monkey genes. And look at this. Look in here. You see the faces of monkeys? Can you see that, people? Hold on. Let me. Am I am I in closer? Let me come in closer to show you what these mirrored images highlight for you. And we're here. Can you see all of that, people? This is a black and white image, but you see that. This is what this is all about. The Beatles are talking about they they bridge, genetically bridge themselves. Oh, here's the faces right there. There are they clear? Where's my hand at? Um, see that oriental looking face right there? That Chinese looking woman right there could creates the face of a Chinese looking woman with that. It reminds me of the winged hat. You know, ever seen like that that crazy looking pointed hat that the women's use to wear and they have it tied around it? You see that? See the face there? Who's that guy over in China that they be talking about? Kong Kong Ho or a Kong of a, a Valley's Kong? Or something where they says his genes has um they say his genetics have um is in like his genes are in like eleven percent of the population of the world. Think about that. A Chinese man, all his Kung or Kung Ho, whatever his name is, his genes is in eleven percent of our world's population. So how do you think that that got there? And then these people well, I guess, you know what? I'll take away the element of surprise. Well, these people are telling you how that, how such a scenario happened. Not from, from this man genetically contaminating other people. And now they're telling you that they're doing the same thing. And they're telling you that they're tapping into the Oriental ancient genetic roots. And through a contamination process, there's another change being made. And the people that they are using are dying. They're telling you that Elvis is dead. They use Elvis. Elvis is dead. They use Michael. Michael is dead. They use Jimi Hendrix. And Jimi Hendrix is dead. And they're showing you what was done. And in their yellow submarine, which describes genes and 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 and, and um and stem cells. Which is on described on the side of the yellow submarine. They went off and contaminated other places. <laughs> amazing, 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 amazing. Look at this, people. I don't have any other images up there I can describe before I close this video. Up. I'm gonna make this. I'm gonna close this out now, and I guess I don't have no more. Oh, there's remember right there. There's the words. Remember, I'm going to come back to that right there because in Drake's worst video, he's on his worst behavior. He keeps saying that word, remember, remember, 
motherfuckers never cared about us. Remember? Remember? Now, I just want to leave you with this afterthought when I when I pull away from this, because I want you to think and look for my video, what I'm going to say. Now, Drake is boasting, is rep, is repping his, his Jewish affiliation and his Jewish religion. Drake did not grow up in Memphis. Drake reluctantly visited there on weekends because in Memphis and because his dad was there. Now, Drake is of I think it's Toronto, Canada, an affiliation with um with Britain with his with his director X. So why would he be back in the hood of Memphis talking about he's on his worst behavior? Drake is affiliated with cult contamination and cult rituals that calls for the sharing of blood and and um and um and semen and contamination. So I'm linking Drake's video to this, what he sings about. And remember, remember, because in Memphis, in that song, and I'm gonna bring it in. When you when that video starts, there's the Cadillacs, which is associated with Elvis. He gets on a building, and on the building it states Elvis, which is showing that he's describing Elvis. Then there's a Tina Turner on another um um um, um colorful um um pictorial of her on the side of a building, which I've tied to this. And there are other People, a Willie something that Drake is, is, is singing about. I'm sure if I dug into, I can tie to this. But my position is that these guys, these high profile guys that make it to, the, to that peak of success where they're able to reach billboards in specifically Britain, then you know that these people have these cult origins to selling themselves out to contaminate those in their home states. Oh, or, yeah, exactly, home states. This is what this is all about. This is the only reason why they can reach that level of success. And then all of a sudden they die. Kanye West, who I think is the biggest nut in all of this stuff, I, I'm, I'm gonna get away from this because I'm gonna talk. Is the biggest nut in all of this stuff, and I mean, I'm surprised that he's even still around at this point. To be totally honest with you, because once you take this thing to the next level, like Michael Jackson did, like Elvis Presley did, and like Jimi Hendrix, where you're not controlled, you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, and you are too flagrant. And what you are doing and what you are suggesting, talking about being God, um, I, he, Eminem is doing that crap, talking about being, and all of this rap gods, and talking about being, and being too flagrant with your message board behind that cult scenario, you get whacked. You get whacked. Point blank. You get whacked. But it's amazing that I've tied Elvis, Jimi Hendrix, and Michael Jackson to this, and all three of these figures died due to drug usage, or supposedly drug usage. My name is Jerome Wright. You're watching my Jerome Wright YouTube channel, and I think I kept this down to, what, 38 minutes? All right, we're out of here. I'm going to get going, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you.